Shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, thanks, and adorations to the Most High Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Ruka Kodash, which is all praises to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Ghost Ruka Kodash. And I would like to send my double honors and respect to the apostles and elders of great millstone for ruling well and teaching us this truth and letting this truth spread to this side of the world in italia um this video is going to be a response to the video the apostle gabar dropped yesterday which is um the video you can see on the screen awake ye children of jacob gms italia on the check-in so i'm going to use this opportunity to introduce myself I am the brother on the left hand side of the screen and my other brother who is the speckled bed on the right hand um, doesn't um, speak English so I am also going to speak a little bit on his behalf even if he would love to share his testimony himself so well I'll start by saying um, when we saw this video yesterday it gave us um, a huge boost Give us um, a strong charge, you know, to work harder in this, in this vine and um, to be instruments in the hands of the Most High and be a part of this great assignment in, you know, spreading the gospel and letting the gospel reach the four corners of the earth. And we really appreciate this video because um, well, it really charged our spirit and woke us up. Um, so, um, anyway, I'm going to start by saying my Hebrew name. My Hebrew name is, um, Yaraya Yasharala. Um, I tried to put this name together using the, the, the Lashawan Kadash, um, chat that I have downloaded from another brother. Um, now I can't really recall his name. So it, the meaning of the name is, um, fear the most I Israel. So if I if it is right, you know, if it is wrong, um someone should please correct me on this. Um well, um I'm also going to use this opportunity to share my um my testimony of um how I ref how the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai gave me the courage to refuse a record deal. Um so let me start by let me start by um sharing a, a a quick verse. So I'm going to go straight up and read and read from the book of sorry. Read from the book of uh, John eight. From the book of John chapter eight verse thirty two. So the book of John chapter 8 verse 32 quotes and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. They answered him we be Abraham's seed. Well, I'm just going to stick to verse 32 and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So um, I'd love to say this is exactly what happened to me in my case and I would say the most I, the most I, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, really cares for me because um, it's not by my merit or anything. I I wasn't really doing things the right way I was supposed to do. I had so many ambitions. Um, I worked really hard for the past few years, um, trying to you know I worked so much on the talent. That I have which is that of creating music I'm a music producer I produce music um, and I'm also a recording artist so I have a friend here in Italy who actually models for Nike okay so um, he actually helped me with a connection to work for Nike so to work for Nike as a as a model you know they were going to we were going to snap pictures and you know they use my photos for their for their clothing so when we started like talking about the contract on this 
So I presented my project to them as a musician, as an artist. So, you know, they, they liked it and they responded back. They gave me a really good feedback and I was really surprised. So I am going to just, you know, to prove everything I'm saying, I'm going to show you a little bit of our conversations. So let me go straight up to my mail. So I'm just going to show you that here, as you can see, these are our conversations from Nike, you know. So we were just going here and there, conversating on how to come about this, um, how to come about this um, contract. So I am going to read one from. So we had phone calls and we had um, we had um conversations on on WhatsApp. So let me quickly. Sorry. So I am just going to go straight to, you know, we had long conversations, you know. So this is actually one of the, this was actually the person handling my, my, my deal with them. So, okay, let me just read this one. So as you can see, they were like, hello, how's your day going? We just want to give you an information on how the contracts we have for you for for now looks like music contracts we have five years of record deal for five years contract you will have with us you have to do songs with people on the nike family musicians like whiskey from your country because i am originally from nigeria and i came my mother brought me here to italy when i was a teenager and um yeah i'm supposed i was supposed to already be a citizen but due to the corona issue you know things got postponed but i'm not really bothered about all that knowing the truth now so you know they got my documents and saw my state of origin is actually from nigeria so i'm from a tribe in nigeria known as um the yoruba tribe and yeah i had a conversation um with many brothers you know from the same tribe who are in this truth which um I guess one of them is um the GMS Watchman. Um, you know, he does um lots of videos on history and I learned a lot about history from this brother GMS Watchman. A shout out to the to the to the elder there, GMS Watchman. Um yeah, let me keep going. They were like, um, you have to do songs with people on the Nike family, musicians like Wizkid, that's an artist from my country um drake chris brown you work with producers like michael john dean freak the invader you have the right to tell us the people you want to do music with you have the right to choose the location when you want to leave payments so on the payments we are offering to pay you for five years contracts one hundred and ten thousand pounds with your house allowance for five years monthly allowance five thousand pounds weekly allowance one thousand three hundred pounds wardrobe allowance go to any night store pick anything you want five years gift card for your friends and family contract conditions okay you must not put on anything that is not nike every product in your house must be from us more will be explained to you when you are called for for you to come and sign your contracts it's better you come with a lawyer for more understanding anything about this contract condition don't, well anyway i'm just going to stop here you know i'm just going to stop here um that's just to show you a little of you know what we actually had the kind of conversation we had so you know we were just going here and there you know i spoke with a couple of friends you know they were like, oh, you should ask for more money, you know. So I asked them to increase the money to two hundred thousand pounds, and you know we were they were like, oh, we would see. They were like trying to like you know, play around the bush, you know, trying to get me accept this um contract like this, but then, I was I was really happy, and let's say I wasn't really that much into the truth, you know. 
but I've always loved to study history and archaeology. There's always been something that I love to do. And then, you know, I was going to a church. I used to be a member of the church of um, the Latter-day Saints, known as the Mormons, you know. So in this church, actually, you know, I just feel, always feel lost. Each Sunday I go to church, I feel lost. You know, I was also dealing with the smoking demon and dealing with a lot of things, you know. Well, you know, I was happy, like, finally, you know, I'm going to get rich, you know, I'm going to be a star, this, blah, blah, blah. And this is where I have to say the Most High actually had so much love for me, you know, out of my ignorance, you know. It did everything, you know. So I'm, I usually don't dream. I usually don't get visions, you know. I'm that type that whenever I get dreams, you know, before I wake up in the morning, I just get to forget the dreams, you know, and everything. So on that day, actually, you know, I slept. And before then, I never heard about the Great Millstone. I never knew anything about the GMS, you know. I never knew anything about that, you know. So I was actually following um a few brothers on YouTube, you know, who were trying to teach about um about the Hebrew Israelites, blah 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 here and there. But you know, whenever I watch their video, they never come to a conclusion, you know, they never come to a conclusion, no solid conclusion, you know. So I was just always in the middle knowing that, yeah, there is something fishy about the churches. I'm not meant to, to you know, to be a part of the church. But, you know, I never really got that full proof of what it was, you know. So already that night, actually, I slept and I had a first dream, you know. So usually before I wake up, I forget my dreams, you know. I just don't even, I don't even remember myself dreaming. You know, so I slept that night and I woke up, you know, I had a dream, you know, the dream was really powerful. And even to this day, I barely can understand what the dream means, you know, that vision, you know, because dreams are also visions. Um, So let me prove that. To you. I'm going to read from the book of um, from the book of Joel. From the book of Joel, from the book of Joel, I read chapter two, verse twenty. Okay. Joel 2.28 quotes, and it shall, it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. So I am going to say this is actually what happened to me, and I'm going to strictly, you know, read from the book of Acts as well. Because the same thing is in Acts 2, 17. As I learned from the elders, you know, precept upon precept from the book of um, Isaiah. So, the book of Acts 2, 17 quotes, And it shall come to pass in the last day, said Yahweh power, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. So here we can actually see that the Most High doesn't contradict himself. You know, we read from two different books in which one was from the Old Testament, you know, Joel. And the other from the New Testament. And they are quoting actually the same thing, you know. So this is this is one of the proofs to let those who are doubting about the Old Testament and the New Testament. You can see we we have the same the same things on the Old Testament and the New Testament. To cut the long story short, 
this is exactly this is exactly what happened to me this was my situation actually so i had this dream so in this dream i was in a house you know it looked like um, a three-story building or so with a triangular roof you know uh kind of like you know a classic Edomite building, you know, like the type we see here in Italy. So there were other people in the house, but, you know, everyone, I, I couldn't see anyone's face, you know, and it seemed like everyone was busy doing something, you know. So I felt something really wrong in the house, like I felt there was going to be a problem, like an earthquake or something. So I rushed out of the house. And I looked up in the sky and I saw a huge hand, you know, breaking this house into two, dividing this house into two, you know. So I woke up from that dream and, you know, I was so baffled about, I was so baffled about the dream, you know. You know, I was just, you know, the dream just kept me thinking, you know. So I just somehow kind of like, you know, you know, instead of feeling more happy about the music contract that I was supposed to sign, you know, I just started, like, getting, like, getting worried, you know. I started getting worried. You know, that's, that's, that happiness that I used to have, you know, about the contract. Oh, I'm going to sign a contract. I'm going to become, you know, rich and famous, you know. I just lost that interest somehow, you know. So I started browsing the YouTube and sometimes I was just going to go to the YouTube and, you know, type the truth about religion, you know, type stuff like that, you know, and get different videos and different stuff, you know, but I never always come across the Great Millstone. I think I came up across um an Israelite group, you know, I watched a couple of their videos, you know. But I was not never coming into conclusion with nothing, you know. So I think it's just all in this, um, that same week, I had another dream. And this was just the bullet point, you know. So that day I was sleeping, you know. And I had a dream. In the dream, it, it felt like I was hiding, you know, like in a bush, you know, it felt, I, I felt like I was under a ground hiding from something. I don't know what, you know. So all of a sudden, I just, you know, try to peep through a kind of window. And I looked at the sky and the sky was filled with spaceships. You know, a lot of spaceships, strange aircrafts, you know, strange crafts. You could see like they, they were all like the UFOs, you know. So I was kind of scared and not really scared, but I was so surprised, you know, I was very scared. Let me just put it like that. I was scared, you know, and you can see these spaceships, you know, they were a lot. They were just coming, coming closer and I just woke up, you know, that dream got me worried. So that same day, I just turned on YouTube and all of a sudden, I saw a video from the elder Manatazak. You know, I never saw his video before.